So we're here at Toshiba at Embedded World 2011. And um, so what does Toshiba do uh, in terms of ARM processors? Yeah, we offer here a new solution with uh, multi-touch on resistive touch screens. We have a class of processors based on ARM9. So here you see an ARM9 CPU with integrated graphics controller, touch screen control, memory interfaces. And as you know, uh, touch is normally done either via resistive or via capacitive touch. Capacitive touch today allows multi-touch and up to now it was not possible to have resistive touch with multi-touch feature. And here we have a solution, uh, you, can, you can use resistive touch, you can zoom, you can flip over and you can use two, two points manipulation on the touch screen resistive. The good thing, the advantage of this is that you can also use it with a pen or with gloves, which was not possible uh, with the capacitive touch. So e even if I touch the screen with uh, a pen and a finger, and a finger it, it works all together. Nice. That is the benefit of Toshiba solution. So this is a special pen patented uh, algorithm which we have uh, developed here and this is one of the news we post here in the Embedded World 2011. So you just take any resistive screen and you put your software there? The software will be... It's not a special screen, right? The, the software will be put into the microcontroller so it is combined and it is locked inside the ARM9 MCU in a later revision. Today we have it here on a separate board as a prototype. So, um, you, your, your focus with your solutions is uh, uh, what you call it um, uh, industrial or where yeah, does it go? It is uh, industrial, it's also useful for medical. So, for example, an application in medical when doctors wear, uh, wear gloves uh, and then you have to operate a touch screen. That is only possible with this solution based on resistive. So these are the fields, home appliance, industrial, medical applications. And here you have a penguin. Does it mean you do a lot of software in Linux? Yes. The complete software system here around this ARM9 is based on embedded Linux. We have uh, created our own uh, board support package and we support a full Linux uh, operating system here. Uh, all drivers, all memory drivers, connectivity, you see the development system here. It's all running under native uh, Linux. How many of these are on the market? You mean how many, how many, how many products or how many uh, uh, customers we have? Uh, how many of these? Uh, uh, th so this, this ARM9 processor right here is a Toshiba design, right? Right. And uh, this is on the market, has yeah. been for a while. Well, it, has, it is on the market for about two years. And it is successful in the fields uh, which I told you, home appliance. So you will see a number of uh, washing machines, refrigerators, dishwashers with TFT screen display. Uh, and that uh, these are operated by a Toshiba uh, processor of this class. All right. And you also have a yeah. M-series over here. So second part, second part of our news uh, mm -hmm. in the Embedded World 2011 is motor control. What you see here is a reference system for what we call M370 family. This is a Cortex M3 microcontroller with a specially integrated vector engine. This vector engine allows field-oriented control with hardware support. All the mat mathematical calculations in this chain are supported by silicon and run very fast and very efficiently. Whereas the Cortex M3 microcontroller just takes care for the speed control and the position estimation. The benefit of this, you have a very small system, low frequency microcontroller running, where you normally need high speed processors or DSP in the class of 200 MHz. We do it with 80 for two motors and with 40 MHz for one motor. And the one motor solution, this is the latest the latest element of this family, TMPM374, and this small chip drives one motor, for example in a pump application or any electrical drive application, and it contains this powerful vector engine and creates this field-oriented control with this uh, hardware support. All right, so uh, the applications can be, you said pump, you can, uh, what kind of things can you put this in? Yeah, any, any kind of electrical motor. So we are starting in the range of 12, 24 volts for low voltage motors and you can go up to 
500, 600 volt in industrial environments. As a broadliner, Toshiba has the capability also to deliver the, the power component. So whatever kind of power stage you might want to attach to this board, this is possible from the Toshiba portfolio. One example is pump in heating systems. Uh, in home appliance, so if you have a washing machine, a dishwasher, it needs a pump, any kind of uh, electrical drive in industry, and this is the base uh, for this one. In order to help developers uh, get around with this, uh, with this uh, chip, we have uh, created a lot of application software. So all the field-oriented control, all this complicated uh, support of the hardware engine is covered by application software, which you get free of charge from Toshiba. And so you can start as a developer at a very high level, attach your motor, implement your control algorithms, and that's the way to work for uh, brushless DC and AC motors with the Toshiba control. And this solution is a new one? Yes. Is this, this the first time you show? Uh, this is the first time we show this small board. Yeah. Yeah. The solution uh, to have hardware support for vector engine is unique to Toshiba. And we are successful in the market uh, with this solution and we hope that it deploys here more uh, in Europe due to Embedded World. Right, thanks a lot.